I've heard bluegrass bands just, yeah, make it sound like, you know, you're hurting. And they do, you know, and it's just, uh, that's what bluegrass is all about. From the standpoint of Bill Monroe being the father of bluegrass, some people say, so that was the band kind of formation that he came up with. It's a fiddle and a banjo, a guitar, uh, a bass, and a mandolin. When I was smaller, I always heard these musicians all playing together, and when I was a kid, my, my grandfather used to play mandolin and uh, we'd have all these uh, parties where we'd have the cold cuts. They'd get together and they'd play guitars and mandolins and upright basses and it was just, uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful setting. I just, uh, and that's how I grew up. I always wanted to play that kind of music. I haven't seen very many bluegrass bands playing. I mean, uh, I have because I've seen the Bluegrass Society and I go where they're at, but there's not a call for it where it's every night or you go out to a show and see bluegrass. But since we've been playing, it's really neat is that we are finally getting a following. And we some people are coming every time we play. She's thinking of me. Why ain't there Well, it's sharing stories that aren't really common to the city place. I mean, a lot of people, you know, probably have these mountain experiences, these uh, rural experiences of being brought up pretty dirt poor and, and, and eking out a living and, and then all they have left to do at the end of their hard work day is to get on the front porch and, you know, kind of share some music with each other. For us, it's just trying to share that way of life and that, that those stories that may not come to the city folks any other way.